please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. Welcome to this new module. This module is about Shopify themes. So Shopify theme is one of the main and major asset in your Shopify website. Well, a theme is a template in which your website is gonna be. Choosing a theme is really important in Shopify while building a website. So to start off, I'll just so what is a Shopify theme? Well, basically a theme is a template that determines the way that your online store looks like and feels. And this is the saying that Shopify says. Well, when you're building a theme, or when you're just installing a theme, you need to keep in mind that you need to choose the best theme that requires all of your fulfillment. It's only because uh, your theme will just predict your infrastructure of your website and your theme is the major part you need to change if you choose a good theme your website will look good and your website will look awesome so this is the power of a Shopify so when this is the only more major power is that when you're choosing a good theme your website looks great instead of doing so much of customization and hassle your themes does all the work for you so to show you guys so i have logged into my shopify control panel and in here you can you will see something called sales channels and in sales channels you will have something called online store you need to just click on this online store to have all of its listings below so in this online store section you will have something called this themes option so in order to know about your theme you need to just click on this theme option and you will be on the page where you will choose your theme and do whatever with your theme so i have already clicked on that so you should click on this and come here so if you go down you will see something called current theme so shopify just preliminarily install this debut theme for us although we are going to change this theme and we are going to aim install a different theme for uh, you and you will see a whole lot of customer differences and you will see the difference why choosing a theme is really important and here you have something called actions and customize we will be discovering these options in our future videos so going down you have this online store speed so once you just upload your website to with your domain so when there you will have your speed and in here you will have the speed a customer faces when he just enters in your website all these reports are available in shopify and next up you can visit the theme library from here you can explore all the free themes from here and you can also visit the shopify theme store so in this video I have just given you a slight flavor of what is a Shopify theme. We will discover each and every things of theme in our further videos. So I will see you on the next lesson. So in this lesson, we will learn about the different types of themes that are available in Shopify. So mostly there are two types of themes. Number one is the free theme which you can use freely and the second one is paid theme so without wasting any more time let's just dive in our lesson so a free theme is Shopify themes which are free and you may face some limitations and these themes are basically composed of regular functions so a free theme doesn't only mean that you will just choose a have limited functions there are many 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 free themes which have so much good functions uh, uh, rather than the paid theme so when you're choosing a theme you should always look up that if that theme is looks attractive to you and if that themes uh, theme just fulfills your requirement so moving on we have our paid themes well, Shopify paid themes are not free as the name suggests 
and you may get some premium functions pre-built in the paid theme so well as I said earlier well being only paid doesn't mean that this is super cool and being only free doesn't mean that it's not so good well you need to know your requirements and if those fulfills only you will choose those themes so I have put up a table for you guys so that you can understand these more accurately regarding the difference between a paid theme and a free theme so a paid theme is basically paid and paid themes have a good customer support which means that if there are any updates you can just easily update it from their page and you'll have lots and lots of customer support suppose you're stuck in some situations and you don't know how to get out of this re related to this theme or uh, design uh, sometimes it happens that some of their customer support just helps you out and some paid th uh, themes have the premium functions built in which means that they have the functions with in which you don't need to just buy some extra apps or something uh, well uh, to be more clear apps are uh, some form of uh, plugins which you will use for extra support we will learn all about this in the future but I'm just telling you for this understanding purpose and a free theme is free and a customer support is not available and you may face some limitations well limitations are not that much if you can find a good theme but I'm just saying it in general perform and free themes tend to be less attractive than the paid themes that's why they're paid I mean that's why that's the reason people buy, pay money for their these themes right so moving forward so what are the considerations you should do when you're just looking for a theme first of all the first consideration is money well money is a big asset so there are many many themes which are above a hundred dollar and, and I've seen so many themes that are more than three hundred dollars so you should consider your money first you should work according to your budget for starting and you can always develop on the way it doesn't mean that you need to always choose the very high price theme at the very beginning no it's not that and when you're looking for a theme you should also check for their reviews and their like coder bases because reviews are really important like what we see in before buying may look attractive but once we buy you may face some trouble so it's always and always really really important to check for reviews check for previous customers who have bought this theme and who have a positive impact in them if you find such positive impact you're always good to go and the third and the most important part your requirements as I have said earlier your requirements are everything if you buy a theme that's not fulfilling your requirement no matter how much money you waste it may be three hundred dollar it may be a five hundred dollar it may be a grand but if it doesn't fulfill your requirement that money is in pure waste on the other hand if you search for free themes those complete your requirements you will be the gainer so before choosing a theme scheme through them very properly and just see if those themes requires your requirement so let's just move on to show you guys the live example of some free themes and paid themes so as I said earlier in my previous lesson that here in this theme library section this free themes is the part where you can explore the free themes so I'm just going to look for this so I have just clicked on this free theme button and it will pop up and show you a, a pop up something like this here you will have all some free themes which are here well you can also search for your themes uh, and you can just apply them accordingly so right now we have our debut, debut theme installed so let's just install a different theme to show if how this affects and so you can see that 
here you by clicking you can see that this is the web view and this is the mobile view of this theme and you can also change its styles to light and blue so I'm just keeping this one as this is just a learning purpose so I'm just adding to my theme library and you can see that this supply theme is getting like uh, installed here uh, it's, it will take some time uh, some there is some technical problems this sort of problem happens you don't need to panic at all just reload this page if this sort of things happen and if I go down you can see that this is uh, like uh, this theme is in my theme library so if you just hit customize it will take you to the editor where you can just edit this theme well I just came here to show how this theme looks nothing nothing else so you can see that it by if you install this theme your website will look something like this and if you go down you you can just paste your pictures here and you can just paste these feature collections here and this uh, you will have you can paste this collection and featured collection twice here well you can edit this option this is only the outer look of the theme you can always publish this but I'm just showing you this one so it's not the proper one so by the way this debut theme that I showed previously this is also a free theme which installed so this is installed in my uh, Shopify theme you you need to just click on this I sign to to see your web uh, the theme that is installed in your website and the, all the customizations you do if you just press on this i button it will show you everything so you can see this is also a free theme which have uh, some functions uh, and you can use these functions as well so that's that so all this is all for this three themes uh, there are many many free themes which you can just explore and see there's no limit to exploration so I would suggest you look around and find some of more free themes that suits you although I have some recommendations I will show you on the further lessons but now let's move on to the paid themes so for paid themes I have already opened theme forest well theme forest is a place where you can buy themes of anything like Shopify WordPress or anything so this is basically a marketplace for themes so here after coming to theme forest you will see lots and lots of themes available at different prices so I'd recommend you to just play around here and see each of these themes and see if anyone interests you for example let me open this one let's see what's inside so it will take a bit of time to open so you can see that this theme looks like this which means if you just install this theme your website will look something like this you can place your uh, products here like this and there are much more features just have a look around and you will see each and each of these features and you'll find it much more comfortable so play around with these themes and choose some themes if you like I have my own recommendations and I will install the, my recommended theme in my future lesson so this is for this lesson I'll see you on the next lesson so another place you'll find pre uh, themes is Shopify theme store so you can visit the Shopify theme store by just clicking here after at the button visit theme store so Shopify theme store is a place where you'll find many types of themes and apps and everything regarding here so from here you can just install your themes using one click so here and here are lots and lots of themes available you can just if you know some certain theme name you can just type in the theme name and just can install your desired theme in your website you'll find both free themes and paid themes here you can see that this prestige theme is paid and it says it has 180 dollars so if I visit this prestige page 
you can see that uh, here it's it says try theme and visit demo theme demo store so you can just click on this visit demo store to see if this theme matches your requirement like as before so this Shopify theme store is a perfect place for you to look up for themes and everything so you can see that how your website will look if you just install these themes so I would recommend you to search for themes here and find some good attractive things which rec uh, suits you your service so you will also find f uh, free themes here so suppose here is venture which is a free theme you can just visit it and see if this matches you and here in the search bar you can just search in your theme according to your wish so it's all regarding to the matter how uh, this one looks in your website so you can just search for any theme you can just type in the theme name and it will pop up here so many times it happens that you heard some good name of some good themes from your friends friend or some from your forums so you need to just give the name in the search bar and you'll find that theme so let's explore this free theme here you can see that the venture free theme is something like this Oh yes one more thing you can also check its mobile view by clicking this you can see that how this theme will look in the mobile uh, each and every Shopify theme is mobile responsive so you don't have to worry about that you can just install one theme here and it will come in handy in both of your websites of desktop and mobile so you don't need to make this websites responsible again and again responsive again and again Shopify does that for you so this is quite a handy tool and one more thing is that sometimes it happens that someone just sells some theme files in bulk so if someone uh, gives some theme files you can just uh, if you don't want to visit these stores you can just click on this add theme button and you can just click on upload zip file and you can just take your theme here and it will automatically install your theme so sometimes it happens that some people on github posts their theme and for free and sometimes you find that some of your friends bought a developer package so you get access to many themes so in that time they will provide you a zip file or a github link so you can just click on this and the way you want to install you can just click on both of this and you can install the theme it's and it's according to your preference so hope this lesson gives you some add some value to you and i'll see you in the next lesson in this lesson we will just install our theme and we will use that theme to move on to our further lessons and this theme will be used throughout the course well i recommend this theme for beginners so that everyone can start off easily the main reason I choose this theme is because it has all the functions to start off as a beginner and you can always gradually increase and you can always take paid themes when you just develop. So let's start. So as you know you need to click on this online store button and this from this theme sections you need to just click on this theme button so you are gonna see that you have your debit theme installed so to just install our desert theme why well, you can we need to just go to Google and type in the name so the theme I want to install is known as debutify so to install debutify theme you need to go to Google and just then click on their website to download the free theme well the reason I choose debutify is because this theme is growing and this theme is pretty much good and it have all the features and you can just easily do download this for free and you can just upload this in your Shopify store it's one of the best free themes I have seen so you need to go to their page and he, they will show you some discounts and all basically they have some packages like this you have your starter package hustlers and master package well you don't need any of this you can just use the free package here 
well it will give you one show license and it will also give you a private facebook group access and also basic support so just uh, you need to click on this try to beautify and you need to just give your email and username so so i've just given my username and email so i'll just click on this try to beautify for free and it will also show me give me my store name to just give it free so i'll just copy this part and i'll just paste it here oops i'll just show something like this and i'll just click on here and it will redirect me to my shopify admin panel and you can see that uh, you, it will show a prompt like this you're about to install Debutify well Debutify will just install as an app for now so I'll just click on this click on listed app and you can see that my cursor is just swinging so that it installs Debutify Okay, so you can see that slowly my uh, window is changing and you can see that I have a change dashboard and it shows too many things here so I'll just cross it out for now and you can just download the theme from here and you need to then click on this add to theme library so I'm just clicking on this add to theme and it will be just installed in your computer so you can just wait for now sometime so you can see that after i just uh, have uh, installed that it shows something like this and you will see something like 14 days left on your free trial trial and all so you can just click on this choose plan option so that it doesn't like really bother so here is one thing you can see their plans here you will get a master plan for now uh, so all we are going to do is we're going to use this free theme for now so so this is only you will get the basics options but this thing uh, but this free option is pretty much fine so you can see that you won't get the technical support the priority support and you won't get the card animations age, age check and all but it's okay it, and you and all you will also not get the card discount button and card five icon and very much things but it it's okay for now you can always uh, update it later and you won't get the Facebook messenger option and all and you won't get this mega money so you can just check this chart for whatever the option is and whatever the option is for not and you can just decide it yourself but I just recommend you to just choose on this free version and so it's chosen so it's forever free so you need to do nothing once your trial ends you'll be always redirected to your free version and you can just click on this dashboard button okay so I'm um, from here I'm just adding this debitify 3.04 so select your current theme and so I'm just adding this to my theme library so you can see that the theme library is getting refreshed so after just uh, refreshing you can see that it just gave you a thank you message like thanks for choosing the beautify so here's how to complete your installation so all you need to do is press the install on step and and inside your wd5 installation so you can just click on this finish installation part and and that's it okay 
so it's time for us to go back to our Shopify dashboard so I'm just cutting out this part and now we are here so let's just click on this app section and we can see that our Debutify theme is being installed in our uh, Shopify control panel so I'm just crossing out these parts as it's not required anymore so you need to just click on this your online store button and in your theme section you will see that our Debutify theme is in our theme library so all you need to do is make this the home of this so I'm just gonna click on this publish button so you can see that your Shopify theme will look like that and you, I guess I have one also here so let's click on this preview button first and see how our themes looks like so you can see that we will have a theme something like this so and you can also have your subscription button like this and on so I'll and here is also the customization button for you to customize the theme so I'm just going in the exit one I'll show you these ones but now I'll just only publish this here and I'm just gonna click on this publish button so you can see that our team got published and from this from here you can customize your themes so for now I'm just gonna show you this I'm gonna show all the customization part in the next lesson but for now let's just click on this preview button to see how your website looks uh, well to see what's installed in your website all you need to do is click on this I option from this icon and you will be redirected to the page where our website is located so you can see that this team is now installed our website and customers will see in an interface something like this we're gonna change each and each of these options so just stay tuned and you're gonna see a awesome website building and you're gonna build your the website yourself as well so let's just go back and that's it for this lessons you have installed your debutify theme so uh, there are people who really don't like this debutify so uh, if you want to do go on with a free theme I would also suggest you can go on with this debut theme well each and every theme customization is quite similar so I'm moving on with debutify theme it doesn't mean that you will also move on with this theme you can also move with any theme you want well this debut free theme is also really good you can also use this well you really just move along with my course and you will know how to customize your theme and everything so you won't face any problem if you choose a different theme so it's not really a problem the thing is that each and every theme has its different functions so but the major functions are more or less same so you won't feel that much of a pressure so I'll leave these things to you so that's all for this lesson and this module ends here I'll show the theme customization each and every part in different modules. So I'll see you on the next lesson.